Hey, if you're here, you want to learn about hazmat placards. Today we're going to talk about when they're required, the six main parts, and the nine classes of hazardous materials. Hey, my name is Braden. I'm a national sales rep here at Anderson Truck and Service. Let's jump right in to when hazmat placards are required. If you stick around to the end, we'll get you a full list of the nine different classes of hazardous materials. Number one, when is a hazmat placard required? Generally, 1,001 pounds and greater requires placarding, depending on the hazard class type. If you are shipping non-bulk, then it depends on the type of hazardous material. Some commodities must always be placarded regardless of weight and depending on the hazard level. These hazard classes include 1.1 to 1.3, 2.3, 4.3, 5.2, 6.1, and 7. It is always best to check with your local, state, and federal guidelines to ensure you are properly placarding for your specific shipment. The DOT requires that carriers place four placards on their trailer, one on each side, that is not obstructed from view. Number two, what are the six main parts of a hazmat placard? Number one, the hazmat class number. Number two, the UN or the NA number. Number three, the compatibility letters. Number four, color. Number five, words, and number six, graphics. Now that you know when hazmat placards are required and the six main parts, the next step is for you to learn about the nine different classes of hazardous materials. If you click the link down below, it'll take you to the ultimate guide to hazmat freight shipping, which is located in our learning hub. The ATS Learning Hub has hundreds of free resources for you to go check out and learn everything there is to know about the trucking industry. Thank you and have a great day.